Hello, welcome back to Noita. That's right, more Noita. We're getting close to 600. I finally won the 34 orb run. You know what, since some people are going to yell at me if I get rid of this, I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> Honestly though, if you get polymorphine to start with, it's useful, but I wouldn't recommend using it just because of how easy it is to die when having it. Chaotic polymorphine, on the other hand, is a lot safer. Just still not the best idea. Though definitely a better starting potion. In any case, go watch the f the ending to that 34 orb run, because I might end up, like, continuing that and doing a uh, 34 orb call me kill. Uh, call me the final boss of the game. Essentially, 34 orbs is, um... It basically just makes him very, very difficult to beat. He gains polymorphine projectiles, he does an F10 damage, he can shoot so many projectiles that it literally fills the screen. He gains immunity to pretty much everything. Well, I say pretty much everything, just mostly acid. Which, under normal circumstances, would be his weakness. That's right, He would. he's weak to acid, folks. If you ever have acid, use it against him, but it instantly kills him, almost. It's a very useful tool to have. Now then, die. As for everything else, Risk of Rain 2 we've just started doing because there's going to be an update to that game soon. I say soon, we're actually not sure how soon. We just know that there will be one. More specifically, it's going to add a lot of new content. The base update's gonna add like two more stages and a few new enemies and two artifacts. But there's also going to be a DLC which is going to add even more crap, which is awesome. Because that game needs more stuff. Hopefully they end up adding a new uh, fifth stage to the game. We know they're adding at least two more stages, or I guess technically like six more stages, from if you're counting the DLC as well. Which is nuts, by the way. That is a lot of content for a game that uh, hasn't gotten updated in a long while. Although I'm guessing people who are here already knew that. Seriously, though, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to be able to do. And because the game's getting updated, I've decided that I'm going to complete the incredibly difficult game mode that it has of Eclipse 8, which isn't tied to any of achievements in the game, which I have completed all of, by the by, every single one of them, and I've gotten every single monster log, which unfortunately, that progress did not get saved, because I changed computers. So I'm going to have to screw on with a save file, probably. Or at least figure out where all those logs are saved. Kinda sucks to be an- oh, I forgot to get money. Whatever. Kinda sucks, since it means I'm gonna have to do a whole lot more crap. Thought I was done screwing around with my computer, but uh, clearly the world had something to say about that. All seeing eye, a very good thing to have stage one. And heavy spread certainly does not hurt. Not worth it. This just doubles our damage, which is very useful. And hey, crits are possible. Well, I mean, they are possible in the first place, but they're more possible now. Luck. E. Me. Rota. Frick. Come on. Come on, let me do this. Come on. Trying to phys I'm trying to not physics them, I'm trying to parry them. But unfortunately, I'm just too good at killing things before. There we go. That right there was a parry. I kicked so that I would kill them. It's essentially, you just kick so, uh, so that the damage from the kick lands at the exact same frame that they would deal damage to you. Which, um, you know, is helpful. It uh, causes them to all the damage from it to be reflected onto them. You take none of that melee damage. It does work with worms, by the way. Not sure about worm bosses. I haven't been able to do that yet. But with regular worms, definitely does. And uh, don't be careful when doing it, by the way, because it uh, you can take a lot of damage if you're not lucky. This right here is a little territorial goober. He's not going to attack me because he's not in his territory. I mean, unless I damage him. But they lose aggro really easily, so... There we go, now he's moving. But look, he's not gonna attack me until I enter his zone. 
which just so happens to be over there. Speaking of which, did you know Kioskivis make you completely immune to firebugs? Well, I mean, the fire part of them. Anyway, let's leave his territory. See? Just leaves us be. This is his territory. I'm just going to leave him alone. I don't feel like fighting him. Free money? Don't mind if I do. But context, why are you going back over all this brand new information that most of your viewer base has already seen and understands? I like to. It's funny. I also just like talking about the same thing sometimes. Why am I digging in the wall, you might be thinking to yourself. <laughs> because I can. Also, because in case there's more gold. Nava, open a chest that's underwater. There is a very high chance that it will kill you with electricity. Instead, open it away from the water and see what it grabs. That is a lucky drop. Rota. Frick. There we go. Get parried, nerd. No, oh, I'm leaving. Oh, alchemist. Great, by the way. These guys can give you some super good potions. Or, you know, throw some really bad ones and then die. You generally want to be above them. You have to be careful about that. These guys shouldn't attack me. I'm fine. Dude, I just need freaking teleportation and then I'll be good. I'm not sure if they ever run out of potions. I think they do. Yeah, they do. Dang it! I'm always trying to get them to drop teleportation. They don't melee attack or anything. They just chill now. Oop. Could you guys, like, screw off? Let's see, I think I saw Pheromone in there somewhere. I didn't. Oh. Look, if you're gonna attack me, I'm gonna attack you. And he's gonna drown to death, which is fine. Blood, whiskey, and wine. Sorry, wood, whiskey, and wine. That's the name of a book. There's a fire potion over there. Could have fungal shifted with that. But I did. Because I didn't feel like it. Eh, 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 eh. This does... This thing's garbage. I don't want it. So bad. Yeah. Mournful spirit's not too bad, but I need an extra life so I don't die later. Just forget about it, by the by. I need to focus on not dying... And now, teleportation achieved. Black holes obtained. Let us progress, shall we? Whip. Whip. Whip, whip, whip. 38 damage is pretty good, but I think that was a headshot. Those guys, by the way, Shotgun and Hisi, are the only enemy that can take headshots, and it just does extra damage to them. Very, very useful. This guy electrifies himself, he heals, which is annoying as frick, but uh, he can still explode himself. Which is a good thing, because that makes it pretty much universal, with only a couple enemies actually being immune to explosions. And I think there's only one enemy that outright heals from them. For some reason, it's the Master of Wounding, which maybe makes sense, because he's the greatest at wounding, so naturally he could take the greatest wound. Dude. You gotta be kidding me. What an abysmal hitbox you have there. Hey, I kinda want that. Just in case there was lava down there, I want it to be safe. Remember, drinking a potion of Berserkium can be helpful. It can also blow you up, but it can be helpful. Also, you can hit your own pollen projectile when you do it, which is very funny to me. Nice try, nerd. I'm not that dumb. I might be really dumb, but I'm not that dumb. Ah, my eye. Just die! Okay, we're good. Nice! You ran into an enemy that blew you up. Ah! The most terrifying combo. An Uko Skivvy and a Cold Mage. The Uko Skivvy... Not even an Uko Skivvy, an Uko. 
He just freaking killed himself by blowing me up. Why would he do that? He was in the blast range. I mean, like, come on, man. That wasn't anything super eventful this run, but you know, I saw a lot of stuff with the all-seeing eye. Heh, <laughs> get it? Because I saw everything. But um, Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, do the YouTube things. You know, the liking and subscribing. <laughs> Uh, anyway, most importantly, have a nice day. Bye!